Yeah, what's up guys, Growing the Hobby, coming back to you guys with another baseball break. Another of my faves, one of your faves. There it is, the GTH box, it's back. The baseball version of this is back today. We're going to see what eight packs we have in here. Got a little bit of Jason Dominguez luck hopefully going to happen with us today. A couple of the cards I pulled, actually they're both the exact same cards that I pulled out of 2020 Bowman first edition. Out of first edition, we got his first Bowman's paper with it lovely little you know first edition stamping there and stuff like that which adds tr uh, quite a bit more value than the uh the regular ones and stuff like that but hopefully he brings us a little bit of luck and let's see what eight packs we have in store for us today i think they're all just random ones but let's see we got a hobby pack of 2013 pinnacle oh there's a nice 2020 panini prism draft picks one of those kind of solo retail fat pack things stadium club from 2021 i think that is yeah that's a retail pack Bowman 2021 Retail, 2020 Topps Chrome Update, that is retail, this Gypsy Queen, is that, uh, yeah, I th yeah, that's retail, not hobby, I thought it was hobby, 2021 Gypsy Queen Retail, 2021 Absolute, that I can definitely tell you is retail, and then a 2021 Series 2 Hobby Jumbo Pack, so a little bit of everything here mixed in, and uh, hopefully we get at least one good pull out of here, that's always the goal, to get one really nice card. Let's see what we got. We'll go with the 2013 right off the bat. And believe it or not, I have a lot of these, and I'm probably going to be mixing these in. It's an underrated product because you can actually pull a Mike Trout autograph card out of these. Um, so that would be the ultimate for me. Johan Santana. You guys know it's Panini, so you're not going to see team logos and stuff like that. There's Jose. There's a Chris Rusin rookie card. Jimenez rookie. Then we got a team 2020 Manny Machado behind there. That's a pretty cool looking card. I don't remember pulling many of those. Tim Linscom, Giannis Cespedes, sorry for that shine guys, I'm Lucas Duda, so nothing really crazy in that pack, that's okay, let's do, oh, I don't even know, let's do, let's do Absolute, Absolute's close to me, probably maybe try and save most of the hobby packs, maybe towards the end, although I only actually have maybe two more hobby packs or so, alright, Absolute from 2021, you guys will have to trust me on the names. You can see it's pretty hard to show here. And it's, once again, Panini, so you're not going to see emblems and things like that. Ken Boyer, Kyle Tucker, Nick, or I'm sorry, Jack Flaherty. Hey, there's the babe. That's very nice. We got a green parallel of the judge. We got a Nick Madrigal green parallel there for rookie class. A Fernando Tatis Jr. Extreme Team. That's nice. And then the last card there, statistically speaking, of Manny Machado. Do the Gypsy Queen since it's closest to me. Let's see if we get lucky. I think most of these retail packs were probably ones that I opened blasters of or something like that and just kind of dumped into the box of packs. So some of these might have autos and stuff like that. They really might because I didn't open any of these packs. I just dumped them into the uh, the box of packs I pulled from. That was a really thick cardstock for some reason on that Kevin Newman. Just feels a little bit different. I have no idea why. I don't think it's anything different, but the cardstock in person, it just feels heavier and feels a little smoother. Uh, Luis Garcia, rookie. We got a Tarot of the Diamond for Mr. Chapman and a green of Tariq Scoobal, rookie card there. Chris Sale and Gene Segura. All right, let's do, I guess, Stadium Club since that is retail for sure as well. Basically disintegrated that pack. I'm trying not to rule in the corners there. So, Glaber Day, right off the bat. Need to get him to pick things up. That's a nice one. Fernando Tatis Jr. Virtual Reality insert. That's pretty cool. Derek Jeter. So, we're hitting some nice nice players here for sure. John Means and Thurman Munson. Wow. So, pretty cool stuff. You guys know that Stadium Club is all about the photography. Definitely the thing that sets it apart from other sets. And if you get an autograph card out of Stadium Club, normally that's on card also, so that is a cool thing. All right, 2021 20, Bowman. This is a retail pack. Tuve, my boy, the Polar Bear, Manny Machado, a rookie of Luis Garcia, and Sixto Sanchez are Chromes, Robert Hassel, and Nick Allen. And back to paper for a prospects, Alec Thomas, Wander Franco is a good one, and Dax Fulton. All right, let's save the fat packs kind of things towards the end there. 2020. Chrome update, retail, four cards in here. That's a nice one on the back, Ken Griffey Jr. All right, so Mike Moustakis starts us off. Starling Marte, 
Glaber Day again, and then there's that Ken Griffey Jr. home run derby card from 94. All right, let's do the Prism draft picks. I've had a lot of success with this, even though it's a retail product and it's Panini without the, you know, the major league team names and things like that. It's draft picks. It's more college focused, obviously, but uh, I've pulled quite a few autographs out of here and some really, really good cards. It's an underrated product, in my opinion, for sure, and a pretty, you know, beautiful product. Carson Taylor, right off the bat. Fireworks, Zach Daniels. Matthew Dyer. Mitchell Parker. Alec Burleson, Power Surges. And that, I think, is maybe, is that parallel or no? Mm, no, I don't see Prism on or nothing. So I guess it's just focused with the uh, team colors there. Burl Caraway, that is a silver Prism. Austin Wells, Power Surge. And I don't think that's numbered, but it is a Prism, as you guys can see it clearly labeled Prism. So no auto in here. It would have been right in the, those three cards there. Robert Hassel, Clayton Beater, Nick Bitsko, Sam Weatherly, and Dylan Dingler. So nothing really crazy in that pack. All right. This is our best chance of pulling an auto or something decent. It's uh, from a hobby jumbo box. So the odds could be there. You know, it's like two, you know, relic hits. One's manufactured, one auto hit in these hobby jumbo boxes. And I think you get like 12 packs per box. So... The odds are a little bit better here. This is Series 2 from 2021. We'll see what we get here. Hopefully a little bit of luck. Bring that in a little closer. See Bruce, Clark Schmidt rookie. Dom Smith, Jake Woodford rookie. The Beebs. The top flips will be abundant here, I am sure. We'll probably do that three or four times. Diaz, Castellanos, Jordan Hicks, Tucker Barnhart, Tyra Glasnow, Holland, Zach Gallen, Braun, Trevor Rogers rookie, Panada. Top slip number two. We're going to be getting into the good cards here momentarily. Star on Castro, Springer, and Jazz Chisholm rookie. That's a good one. That's nice. And here comes where our hits would be or the parallels, things like that, after we do yet another flip, of course. So let's see what we have here. We got a, of course, we got to flip again. It's a gold foil, though. Looks like we got like an 89 or 90 design here coming up as well on a couple of cards. But uh, Josh Naylor, that'll be a gold foil. I'm going to pull this back here not to spoil that. It's the foil. It's not gold because gold are numbered to 2021. And let's see what this is here. Ah, I was right. Very, very nice. Bryce Harper there in the uh, 1990 Tops design. Really cool looking card. That's the first time I pulled that. Mr. Smiles, Frankie Lindor. Uh, pretty cool. And that's obviously in the Topps Tiffany design there as well. Uh, pretty cool looking card though. So looks like no hits in this pack. Let's see if we can get a Cabrian Hayes maybe. Jose Ramirez. Choo-choo. Another Topps flip, of course. Kyle Tucker. McBroom, Nick Solak, Future Stars. Angels team card. And Ozzy Albies, Mets team card, Championship Fireworks, Kirk, Rookie Alejandro Kirk, Polanco, and an Indians team card. So nothing really crazy there, unless I missed something, but uh, still a fun break. I love these GTH boxes, these kind of, you know, random pack openings and stuff. They are a blast. You guys seem to love them too, so I'm going to keep them coming to you guys. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email, email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.